So that's it. Uh, you've heard from a player, and now you're hearing from the officials. Uh, we listen to uh, Munir Bessa. He's ITTF competition manager. He's an Algerian. He's here in the country. And a former president of the Nigeria Table Tennis Federation, uh, who is now president of the West Africa Table Tennis uh, Association. And, of course, the chairman of the main organizing committee why then it's all should it says beyond organizing that this competition we can use it to assess at uh, the level of improvement of nigerian players and it says with the quality of top players yeah that we should be expecting a fantastic tournament and of course the last guy michael brown he is in charge of developmental table tennis in africa and he says look we all love the nigeria open top african players love coming here and that's we're going to be expecting a fantastic tournament listening to those guys customers i just i just pray that it will take table tennis in nigeria from the level that it is to the next level certainly and that's uh, something that uh, miss i believe um i can remember i think uh, somebody actually asked um, the new president of the nigeria table tennis federation pretty much this question that how can this competition um mm. you know help uh, to develop uh, um, um, the athletes, Nigerian athletes, and of course, you know, raise the profile of Nigeria when it comes to the world of table tennis. And they pretty much answer that it has to take a whole lot of hard work, has to take a whole lot of teamwork. And that is what Michael Brown was saying here. It's, 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 it's a matter of everybody coming together, putting their hands on deck to make sure that um, this competition is big. Now, don't forget, this competition is pretty much, when it comes to prize money, the biggest sporting competition ever in Nigeria. Mm. Yes, forget about football, forget about everything. I mean, if you have that big uh, prize money in Nigeria, it's pretty much a big deal. And that is what um, uh, we should um, uh, think about, the fact that we can be able to improve the athletes. And that is something that um, everybody should uh, uh, look at. The NTTF should look at it as mm. well. And of course, um, uh, uh, the, the government, the Lagos State government have been massive. Mm. You know, when it was a classic, they gave all the support which now turned to a tour and of course they're giving all the support as well mm. so everybody's hand should be on deck that's right on your screen you saw um kazim makonjola and mm. omotayo uh, olajide are practicing and the champion of african women's table tennis olufunke oshanaike evergreen olufunke she's getting ready for the competition uh, she says look whenever she has a chance to compete she will go out there but no shagun toriola uh, at this one but funke is she's ready to go cosmos and i think she can actually be a source of motivation to other female table tennis players um there's adam of young that yep. needs to impress mm. there's also cecilia otto she mm. needs to give her best there's vivian oku uh my junior sensation that should step up her game now Tosin Esther or Ribamiche, we will also have a, uh, a go at this one. But Cosmos, whatever we want to take out of this one, it's time for us to look at our Nigerian table tennis players, assess them and see if they are getting better. Yes, certainly. And that is what it is. You just mentioned Funke or Shanaiki. Uh, seeing her today, you need to see the level of motivation in her. Mm. You need to see that level of um, optimism in her. She's not uh, um, distracted by anything, whether family issues or, 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 or what is happening uh, uh, maybe the Federation are actually helping or they are not helping. She's just trying as much as possible to get her game. And you need to see that confidence in her. And that is something we should talk about. You know, you mentioned um, Edda Mae Fiong as well. She needs to step up her game. Mm. These are people that can be able to come in. And of course, those junior sensations. All of that thing about the ITT, the, uh, this, this uh, Lagos Open, mm -hmm. is, the, is the fact that there is an under-21 competition. That's right. That's right. Now, you have the best mm. of... Nigerians right here competing against the best. Now, if you have these under 21s, I'm talking about 18 year old, 70 year old, mm. 19 year old um, young men and women competing against the best, mm. against the best from the world coming for this competition. Mm. And it's a big time, a big time, a big opener for yeah. them. And of course, Funke Oshanaiki can now, you know, probably later on, you know, go back in peace and say that, okay, fine, I've laid a foundation, let other people take over. And mm. that is the essence mm. of this and competition. Mm. But they are building also mm. around, you can see him aspiring right there, yeah. in training there. Uh, we also saw Kazim Makonjola, another opportunity uh, for us to see Ojo No Lakpo. Yeah. Ojo No Lakpo still has a lot to give uh, to his table tennis and at this year's Nigeria Open we're just hoping that he would take his game a step higher but with all the quality around his good exposure for Team Nigeria and of course 
um, in terms of organization, let's see how we are getting better putting together a world-class tournament. So by tomorrow, when the competition serves up, we will come and then give you all of the updates. Sports tonight on channels, television, you can be part of the program. Uh, on Twitter channels, underscore sports, Facebook channels, I think sports. Uh, a lot of persons are asking, uh, why is Shegun Toriola not at the competition? Shegun Toriola is... He's injured, and mm. besides, Shego Toriola, I'm on age. He needs to start choosing. Uh, he's what Roger Federer is to tennis, and that's what he is to table tennis in Nigeria. But it's good to see Shego, um, Shego Toriola around to motivate uh, the younger players. So hopefully, he will be in the country uh, for that one. So, for tonight on Channel TV, you can still uh, be part of the program. Our feedback mechanism is still the same. We're monitoring everything going down in our world of sports. Uh, let's see what's going on. In the UEFA Super Cup uh, between Real Madrid and Manchester United, uh, scores still 2 1. Uh, but, Cosmos, do you think Manchester United can put up a fight in this one? Yeah, Manchester United have always been that team that has that um, fighting spirit. You know, any UC Marino team would want to make sure that um, they compete very favorably. So, uh, let's just see how it works out and um, see whether Manchester United can, uh, you know, put the chestnut out of the fire. We are monitoring <laughs> that one right here on the program Sports Tonight on Channels TV. Uh, let's take uh, a quick break now. When we come back, we will address those talking points that came out in that game between Wiki Tories and Enugu Rangers. Three persons have been remanded in prison. That's what it is. We don't want anything unacceptable in our football. Talk about it when we come back. Stay.